Hi everyone, Pete Calamain here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So this is the last video in our Rigid Flex Design walkthrough project. If you remember well, we have started off with the idea of making rigid flexes and we have seen the basics and stackups. Afterwards, we did some setup in Altium how to make a rigid flex and we finished in our last video with the PCB layout. Now today I want to make a very short video on MCAT integrations with Altium. So the idea is when your PCB layout is finished, there's a nice co-design that you can do with your industrial designers. Today I'm going to quickly show you how we can use that from within Altium and how that is linked to your industrial designers or mechanical engineers program. So let's dive into it. So here we are back again in our project. It's of course still the simple project. We have the flex design, we have de defined all these bent lines, split lines, everything in the previous video. Now the idea is today that we would like to work together with our mechanical engineer and our team and to have them make some changes and to import that back into Altium. So before what you would have done is you would have exported this into a step 3D file, sent that to your mechanical engineer, they would have imported it in their software, made some changes, sent it back to you or made some indications to you where to put some holes for instance in the board. Uh, to be able to accommodate a housing. Now it can be made easier and that is with the MCAT co-designer. Now to open that MCAT co-designer tab if you wouldn't have it yet. Uh, so you go to panels, you click MCAT co-designer and then you'll have that MCAT co-designer panel opened. So I'm going to quickly show you how that works. First of all, you need to push your design. So let's say we release it to the mechanical engineer, we share it and we send it. It's now being pushed. Now, if the mechanical engineer is not in your workspace yet, you can invite them in here. Um, we are already in the workspace, so that's pushed. You see the latest from the ECAT is released to a mechanical engineer. Now let's go out of Altium over here and let's work with Fusion 360. I'm not a mechanical engineer, so this is a trial, but just to show you what is possible. So first of all, what you see is there is an Altium co-designer tab. You can install it and then there is an Altium co-designer panel. You will have to log in with your mechanical engineer credentials. So basically you have to add these people to your Altium workspace and then you can open the projects that are being shared. Now what you see is we immediately see the project name over here. So the rigid flex project that we have. The latest push is one done by me. So release to mechanical engineer. And basically we can just click OK and load that in our Fusion as maybe a new project. So let's go ahead and do that. And what you see is that we now have the exact same representation in 3D as what we have in Altium. We also have the revision history here between MCAT and ECAT. So this is an interesting point to start. Now let's say that we would like to add some holes maybe in the design. So just to give you an example, of course, let's maybe put a smaller hole over here. on this surface. We'll make it a two millimeter hole and let's plug it in over there. Now we have that hole over here. I'm going to push this to ECAD again. So I can, as a mechanical engineer, add a command. Hole is added. I send it out and I push the design. It's now pushed. Now let's switch back to Altium again. As electronics engineer, what you see is there's new changes that have been detected from MCAT. So your mechanical engineer has done some stuff. Now it's your time to pull these changes in. You'll maybe immediately see the comments over here, hole is added. And what is interesting is that the changes are highlighted over here. So maybe some components have been moved by the program. But what we are interested in here is, you can also add reject regions. But this is the, the free hole. Let's go ahead and apply it. And what you see over here, if we would switch to 3D, that exact same hole that we added in Fusion 360 is now in Altium. So this speeds the co-design between electronic engineers and mechanical engineers up. It's a big change compared to what you would have done before with 3D step models. Now in a similar way, what you could do is for instance, add a 3D body and see how your PCB aligns. Of course, this 3D body is uh, large enough for our PCB to fit, but let's say that we want to have it align with this hole, then this would help us again to place that hole at the exact position that we want to have. 
Also in a similar way we can alter the PCB so you might be able to cut out the curve over here so that it exactly matches your 3D body and just like we've done before we should now be able to push it to ECAD again then import it in here and to see where we are. So this is a very quick overview on the MCAT co-designer, how you can cooperate from Altium uh, towards your mechanical engineer software and back again. There's much more stuff about this available on the Altium channel, so feel free to check that out, of course. But I wanted to touch this briefly to give you an idea what is possible. Now that's it for this uh, Rigid Flex design series. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a lot. Of course, as always, if there's any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.